Um, Julian, uh, you weren't involved last weekend. Was it difficult to watch that one? Yeah, you never like uh, heading to Franklin Scudders and, and getting a loss. And uh, again, it was, was tough to watch from the sidelines, but sometimes that's the, the way that we crumbles with injuries and all the rest. And uh, you just got to take it on board and uh, hopefully get back to winning ways this weekend. There isn't ever a little part of you goes, well, yeah, at least I wasn't involved type thing? No, you're always part of the squad. I mean, I'd love to have been out there, just uh, just wasn't to be that week. Um, but again, you, you do sometimes get the itch just to get out there and uh, want to crack on, but unfortunately things don't go your way sometimes. Uh, a West Country derby of sorts coming up. How much are you looking forward to that? Well, it's, again, it lost this weekend, so it's going to be a, a big match and uh, something that we're definitely looking forward to. They're, they're the last team. Um, from what I can understand, that is, that is one here. Um, so it's big in that, in, that, in that terms, and it's all about righting the wrongs from last week and putting in a, a good performance, which we demand when, when, when we play at Sandy Park. Uh, what do you think of Gloucester? What are their strengths? What are their weaknesses? Well, again, for, uh, from a personal point of view, obviously Matt Kvezic is in uh, very good form in terms of his turnovers and, and his work rate. So obviously he's a, he's a threat there, but also you've got some some likely winners and some, some guys out there that can, that can cause you some damage. So, yeah, it's just nullifying those sort of effects and uh, stepping our own game onto it as well. Rugby at this level, how important is consistency? Because that seems to be something that Chiefs generally have got this season. Yeah, well, you, you want to be, be on the winning side more often than not. And uh, for us, it's when you do have a loss, it's, it's, it's all about the, uh, the next results and it's all about making sure that you get back to winning ways. And again, if you can keep ticking along and, and getting the wins and getting the four or five corners and it goes a way, massive way to, to, to having a good season and again for us it's all about just being consistent with ourselves and uh, bringing in those uh, high standard efforts. Are you Percy Julian, how are you finding life down here? Absolutely loving it, uh, it's been a nice little, little move for my family and I and, uh, and uh, an environment where it's a, a lot more conducive to an Australian way of living so we've, we've enjoyed that, we've got the beach down the road and all the rest and cream peas and all the rest that you can enjoy and uh, from that point of view we're, we've, we've settled in very nicely. And obviously it was a late start to the season, was, was that difficult, frustrating having to, I know it's the same for everybody but when you're a new club is that a little bit more difficult? Well, it makes it easier from some sense because you do get to understand the whole dynamics of the club and you've got a, I suppose a 12 to 16 week block almost. Um, to, to get the grips with your teammates and all the rest. Um, but again, a 12, 12 or 16 week pre-season is never, never enjoyable from, from any means. So it's, it's, it's one of those catch-22s really. There's some good things and some bad things about having a, a long pre-season. Thank you, Julian. Rob often talks about not getting carried away in the emotions of winning or losing and he, he stayed pretty level-headed after last week and that I imagine has been just emphasised again this week, you know, you're not a bad side and just go again. Yeah, very much so. I suppose from, from the point of view from the weekend, we did pick up a, a losing bonus point, which is which is good for many means, um, heading to Franklin's Gardens and doing that. Um, obviously, you don't want to be on, a, on the losing end, but I suppose losing and playing as, I suppose, poorly as we did, there's always some positives from money losing by five points. If we put in our best performance, we knew we could have taken away some points, and that's probably the most or the, big, the biggest disappointment from the weekend. As you said, having a solid home base is key to any season, and it's something that Leicester have built on in the past. But you, you guys have got a real desire here to keep this place in, like a fortress almost. Yeah, as a player, you rely on the, the atmosphere and the, the buzz around the field, and you get that here at Sandy Park before the match. And again, that sort of thrives, thrives you, and, and I suppose. Um, as a player, gets that enjoyment out of it. Is it quite hostile? Are you having been here as a, a visitor as well? Do, do you realise how, how how it can be for, well, it's once for the, opponents? The, once the tomahawk chop, I suppose, <laughs> starts to unfold and all the rest, it does get a bit daunting. But uh, again, now being on the right side of that, um, it's quite enjoyable and you do get that buzz. And you talk about Gloucester, the threat that they pose. So often the games have been so tight between them, one score games almost. Um, you know the threat they're going to bring this weekend. Yeah, exactly right. It's just trying to nullify that this weekend and, and stamping our own game onto that and uh, scoring tries as, as we have been able to do this year.